welcome to the very first video on the team Dan Travels vlog. I'm Dan, this is Dan, Hey. and in the back is Molly, her older sister Bethany, didn't want to come today. She's that way, so it wasn't fair. So what we're doing is, just to give you a, a little rundown, we're going to document our trip to Orlando in a couple of weeks, and we've just bought a new gimbal and a new phone to document the trip with but we don't know how to use any of it we've never done this before so what we thought we'd do watch the road is that we would take a 40 minute hop up the Northumberland coast from our home in Willie Bay and have the day at the sea houses in the Farn Islands and Danielle's getting used to the gimbal <laughs> there as you can see <laughs> no that will that not have just sent it I don't know what it does how do I turn it around double tap the back to be sent no no I want to double tap no I want to look at the road technical difficulties so what we'll do is, we'll see you again when we get up to the sea houses. How do I make it turn around? No, no, I want to turn around to see the road. Oh, how surprised I've done that. This is out of the window. <laughs> That's me. Until shooting complete. So we've arrived at the sea houses a little bit later than originally thought because I decided to take the scenic route, so I did about 50 minutes onto a journey. How many minutes did you say? 15 minutes. No, we've added about an extra hour. It was about 15 minutes. We left the house at like 10 o'clock, it's after 12. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna venture into the sea houses. Got no idea what's here. I last came here with the school when I was about nine, something like that. Yeah, and, so, and the only can remember is that it stunk of shit. So that's why we've come back. Stunk of poop. So that's why we've come back. <laughs> if there's anything interesting, we'll video it. <laughs> Is it rough? There's got a camera I just said so it's it's a, a little bit it just ain't rough, rough. <sighs> Go on then. Right, can we um on your next available one? I do. sick on these things. Your daddy it's pretty still in the minute. It stinks of fish. This will be where it's worth, won't it, in the dark? What? Will it, will it be where the water is worth? I've got no idea. It's on the open water, it'll be calmer. Skin cheese. Oh, 
light I'm focusing on the diamond. What is that? Bail. Lighthouse here is Longston Lighthouse. The work started here in April of 1825 and was completed in February 1826 at a total cost of £4,771. The lighthouse itself stands 26 metres tall, lights visible from up to 18 nautical miles away. It was manned for over 160 years before it finally went automatic in 1990. In 1815, Grace Darling was born. She lived on Brownsman Island until the Longston Lighthouse was built. Little is known of Grace's early life. Except she may have joined the Lightkeeper's service between 1830 and 1834. Well, certain else, by the end of 700 pounds. If you burn that into today's money, it's about 460,000 pounds. A few years ago, the lighthouse was converted to run on solar power, and the cost of installing the solar panels, changing over the wiring and the bulbs, was just over a million pounds. The lighthouse itself is fully automated. We do still have accommodation quarters on there. They're only used by maintenance workers now, though, who come out to perform any work required by the lighthouse.
original book in oh, Chitsie.
How did you enjoy the boat, girls? Oh, he's recording. It was okay. I yeah, wish I had. I wish I had come in May or June, no. Uh, to uh, see the spectacular puffins. Uh, I wish it was more hot because it was freezing. My hair was a mess. It wasn't. That wasn't the weather. That was the the motion in the ocean. The motion in the ocean. <laughs> it was the, the It was the the wind going through the, the boat. It was so crab. Yeah, we've we seen a velvet crab and a male lobster that was 11 years and old. And what are we doing for lunch? We're at a fish and chip shop. Um, Lewis's, it's called. Lewis's? And then after this, we're going to the amusements. Well, actually, no, I think we're going to go to the fair and Molly's going to do the water. No, I don't want to go to the fair, right? Well, Not because I'm scared of the rides. Yeah, you're scared of the rides. No. Yeah, scared of the water. But the you're going to do amusements. the amusements. Hands up who thinks Molly should go on the water. <laughs> Molly, you're going to Disney? You're scared of a little waltzy waltzer? Yeah, because it's not a roller coaster. It's British rides. What's that got to do with the prices? What do you mean it's British rides? I don't trust British rides. Why not? We'll build the best pretty rides in the world, kidder. No, I don't. <laughs> what have you ordered for lunch? Oh. Guess. What did you ever order? Burger. Burger. <laughs> what about you, Dan? Fish and chips. Oh. Dad's got a uh, fish and chips. No, he hasn't. He's it? got battered sausage. Basset, basset. <laughs> a basset, a basset, basset sausage. sausage. No, uh, <laughs> a battered sausage, <laughs> chips, mushy peas, and a pot of gravy. Oh, mm. well, very nice. Mind, there's chips come with a burger. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Brilliant. These are ketchup, Molly. Champion. Thanks very much. Oh, we're not supposed to take all of them off. Thank you. She must have felt so uncomfortable with that, just like. <laughs> Lewis's fish and chips. So, we had a lovely trip out into the Foreign Islands. Um, just been at Lewis's Fish and Chip Shop in Sea Houses, it was absolutely fantastic, would have filled in more of it, but um, unfortunately I was just too hungry uh, and just only interested in my food. But we've come a mile out of town and there's uh, a bit of a fun fair behind us, um, so we're going to try and get in the mood for Disney with a couple of rides at the carnival. No, I don't want to go. On. All the mod cons be on card for the dodgems. Who would have told us? Why didn't you get in that one when there's nothing in front of it? Yeah. I tell you what this is. It's, 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 it's,
you have fall out of it without that on mine. Of course. You have fall out of it. Mommy, oh, you got your you ready? Sure You're nervous. <laughs> So, for anyone asking, this is Slater's Fun Fair in the Sea Houses. Slater's Dodgems. So, you're going to left hand down and you're going to go out that way. But if you do it right hand too quickly, the car will flip over. Stuck on there though. So, I just, so right, just put your foot down on the pedal and aim it over there. I don't think I've ever seen a worse dodge driver in my life. Well, it's better than last time.
Well, that was a fun, packed, full of fun and action day. A little boat ride around the Farne Islands, fish and chips, and then a little trip to the fun fair. I was sorry it hasn't been great. And I'm sure when you're watching it back that there's loads of mistakes we've made, but we're just learning. So all we're gonna ask you to do is hit subscribe to Team Dan's Travels and get ready to come on our little trip to Orlando in a couple of weeks time, by which time we'll be so much better at documenting our days. What do you reckon, Dan? Hell yeah. See you next time. Cheerio.